Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, a welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for the second week of July. So today I'm going to be checking in from the 8th through the 13th. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, it should be a really quick video because I don't have a lot of transactions. So on the 8th, I did get McDonald's with my mom and that was a total of $20 for breakfast for both of us. So I did spend a total of $12. Uh, moving on, we did go to the yard sales that day, so I really didn't know where to take the money out of. I spent around $50 max. I honestly didn't keep track fully, but it was $50 or less. It wasn't more than $50, um, but I did spend $50 at yard sales, and that is coming out of Adventures, my Adventures sinking fund, because I really, really, really didn't know where to take it out of. Um, on that same day, I did get my threading done, and that was a total of $30, including tip. So that's coming out of my beauty sinking fund. All right, on the 9th, I did go to Lake Tahoe with my boyfriend and his parents. Um, so from the 9th through the 11th, I did spend a total of $500 um, for that trip. So I am going to just leave it on the 9th. And I'm going to leave the 10th and the 11th blank because I did spend that money throughout that, throughout those days. So on the 12th, I did buy some sports bras on Amazon. They were on sale, so I decided to buy them. I took it out of my medical sinking fund because I don't have any more money in clothing. I am debating changing my medical fund to my health fund. The reason why I took it out of medical is because I consider my medical my health fund and me buying my sports bras to go to the gym is for my health. So that is why I am taking out it I'm taking it out of medical. Um, again, I'm debating on changing that sinking fund to health and I didn't have any money in clothing, so I really didn't know where to take that money out of as well. So that is why it's coming out of medical. On the 13th, I did get my nails done. So it was a total of $75 for my nails and that is coming out of my beauty sinking fund. And I do have these hot pink and orange nails, French tips. I really, really love them. I like the colors, it's a perfect summer colors. So on the 13th as well, I did go to SF supermarket and I grabbed a couple of things. And that was a total of $24 coming out of groceries. And that is it for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my weekly check-in spread. And I didn't add anything for the week. So I am just going to draw some lines because I don't really feel like writing the zeros. So I'm just going to draw lines for for this month. So let's see. So for dates, didn't spend anything. I am still negative 30, sorry, not negative 30, negative 10 from last week. So I'm gonna still mark that off. And then moving on to fun, didn't have anything, didn't spend anything. Um, gas, didn't get gas. Groceries, I did spend grocery money, so let's see. So for groceries, it was SF Supermarket for $24. So 24 spent, I did start with 80, so that means that I have 56 remaining, if that's correct. Let's see, um, so six, so yeah, 56. Miscellaneous didn't have anything, didn't spend anything, nothing remaining. Restaurants, I did spend restaurants money on Saturday for some breakfast and that was 12. So $12 here and then I started with 13, so $1 remaining. Spending, nothing, unbudgeted, nothing. And then for spending, I had $9 remaining last week. 
All right, so those are my numbers for the second weekly check-in. Again, I do use my credit cards, so I am going to unstuff my cash envelopes. I do have the link for the credit card that I do use down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But again, I don't recommend it for everyone. Only if you're disciplined, I will suggest to maybe look into using credit cards, but still doing your cash stuffing and unstuffing. But if you're not disciplined enough, I would not touch credit cards. So I'm going to move my planner to the side, bring out some change for the unstuffing, and we're going to go ahead and get started. I have $100 here on the side to help me make change. I have my wallet. These wallets are available in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. They do come with three zipper envelopes for cards, receipts, and coins. You get to choose your font, but it does come with those three along with the binder. And I don't have any receipts in here because again, I don't actually carry this wallet. I just like doing the stuffing, like that's my system. I like doing my stuffing and then my unstuffing during my weekly check-ins. So I don't actually carry this wallet, but I still like stuffing it like if I was carrying the wallet. Um, so I don't have any receipts. I do have some in my car. If you guys are not familiar with Fetch, Fetch is an app that you can download to your phone. You get scam receipts. They give you points for those receipts and the points you can go ahead and redeem for gift cards. I have cashed out a couple of gift cards and it's amazing because you just scan your receipts of money that you're already spending. You accumulate points and you get free gift cards. So link is going to be in the description box down below and I'm going to leave the quote on the screen as well if you guys are interested in signing up with my code. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Dates has nothing. I was over budget by $10. Fun. Didn't stuff anything. Um, gas. We didn't spend anything for the week, but we still have the um, 10, 11, 12, 13 remaining. And I just noticed that I put zero remaining. So let me go ahead and change that. We have 13 remaining, but we did not spend anything. So let me wipe that out again. So let me go ahead and fix that. Not very, oh, it's very ugly. I'll go ahead and fix it a little bit better later, but it does have 13 remaining, which we have it here. Um, groceries, we are unstuffing 24. So I'm gonna take 40, I'm gonna bring back six. So we have no, it's 24, so we're going to bring back 16. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 50, 5, 56. Perfect. And then miscellaneous has nothing. Restaurants, let's see. We're going to unstuff 12, so 10, 11, 12. And we only have $1 remaining. spending we didn't use anything this week so we have five six seven eight nine nine dollars remaining all right so we unstuffed the 12 and then the 24 for groceries so um i do have i am over budget by 10 and again let me go ahead and wipe this off we didn't have any unbudgeted for the week, but we did have unbudgeted for the month. So that is negative 56. Okay. So first I'm going to go ahead and remove $10 for, for dates. Just going to remove that from gas. Going to put these dollars back into the envelope. Then we have 56. Oh, perfect. Groceries has 56 remaining. So that works out perfectly. So we have 20, 40, 50, 5, 56. Okay, that's great. So that means that I have paid myself back for the over overspending here and then the unbudgeted transaction. So let's see how much we have left in my wallet. We have $4.00. No, $3 in gas and then $9 in spending. So nine, 
nine and three is 12. So we have $12 remaining in the wallet, which is not a lot, but at least I have something that I can stuff into my, into my denominations challenges. So that works out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove $100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 100. I'm going to put that to the side. And let's see. I'm going to bring out my calculator. And I unstuffed $10 for dates. Then we took out 24 for groceries, 12 for restaurants, and then 56 for unbudgeted so that is 102 so 20 40 60 80 90 100 1 and 2 perfect so that is going back to my bank account so i can go ahead and pay off my credit card but i do have to unstuff for my sinking funds which my spread is here we have five transactions so i'm going to move my planner to the side i'm going to bring out more change we're going to go ahead and unstuff my sinking funds I'm going to get started with beauty. So I do have two transactions for beauty. And that is $30 for my threading along with 75 for my nails. So that is a total of 105. So I am going to go ahead and remove 100. And then I only have four. So I have to take the 50 unfortunately and I need to bring $45 back. Oops, 45 back, okay. So in beauty, I now have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49, perfect. So I do have my red marker, so I can mark off those transactions. So my nails, along with my threading. So I've, have to go to adventures as well i'm going to remove all 50 dollars for my yard sale transactions so i'm going to mark that one off and then the other two sinking funds are in my other binder so i'm going to bring that one out and we are going to medical, which is right here. I'm gonna remove 38. I have a 50. So we need 12 back. Yeah. So let's see how much we have remaining. We have 100, 200, 300, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 114 in medical. And then, I don't remember if I said 114, but it's 314. If I did mistakenly say 114. Um, vacation, I'm only gonna bring out my placeholder. I did already transfer that money to my checking so I can go ahead and pay my credit card off and I have 220 left over in vacation. So, I am going to remove the $100 and I'm going to go ahead and count this money here. I'm gonna mark off my sinking fund transactions because everything has already been paid. That $500 placeholder has already been transferred from my savings to my checkings. Um, I'm gonna bring out my calculator so I can calculate how much I unstuffed. So I have 50 for adventures, beauty 30, along with 75. Then we have 500 for vacation, along with $38 for medical. So that is 693. I'm gonna count, so 550, 600, 650. 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3. 693 is what I unstuffed. I'm going to go ahead and move my calculator to the side. I'm going to open up my binder to, or my planner to the calendar. 
I'm going to go ahead and mark off all of the transactions, including my um, budgeted transaction because I have paid that off and then all of my sinking fund transactions for this week. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.